Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So what a surprise, today I was actually excited to log on because Star Stable has released the new awesome Generation 3 Arabian. And as you can see right now, I'm riding my Generation 2 Arabian so that I can like really compare them and stuff. And this is my racehorse, so please don't mind the racing tech that I just have on it by default. Um, yeah, but I'm super excited today. Apparently, there are also new horse names, like over 200 um, prefixes and 300 suffixes. I don't know what it's called, but um, yeah, that's going to be super fun. And I can't wait to check them out. Right now, we're at Gold Spurs, and coming up here, I had to have a really big amount of self-control to not take a sneak peek at these horses but we want an authentic reaction you know okay so let me read what is on the star stable website the new and improved arabian from the glossy sheen of its coat to the iconic slope of its face the sight of an arabian horse is sure to amaze they are one of the most renowned and striking horse breeds in the world, with a distinct history and origins. Now they look even more striking with the Generation 3 update. Did you know? Bred for endurance in harsher desert climates, the Arabian is small, almost dainty in structure with a distinctive head and high-set tail. Modern-day Arabians can be found across the world and excel in a variety of disciplines, such as racing and show jumping. They are particularly good at competitive trail and endurance riding due to their superior stamina. This makes them perfect companions to take you on adventures across Jorvik. That's cute. Okay, so uh, we have six of them at Goldsburg's farm, and the Black Arabian is going to be permanently at Fort Pinta. Because I remember there was a permanent Arabian, like a Gen 2 one at it does so it makes sense that they're kind of replacing that um it does cost 950 star coins which i believe is pretty reasonable price because i think the regular gen 2 arabians were like 969 star coins so uh there are seven gorgeous coat colors and okay so something about the main styles of these horses is that they all have a long flowy tail and even if you decide to change the main style you cannot change the tail and apparently they also have a special move so if you click on the space bar while your arabian is standing still you can witness it gracefully rear up and walk on its hind legs Ooh. okay aside from that there are a few other updates including new show halters new horse names like i've said that we'll check out in a second and magic coat improvements where basically to change your horse's magic coat you can press h on your keyboard instead of having to open your character sheet and all that fuss all right so let's get started i really cannot wait to check out these beautiful horses okay i hope you guys don't mind but i got a new keyboard and it's like really clicky <laughs> so bear with me i like the sound though at least okay uh <gasps> Ooh. okay so there is a new updated stable right last time i remember it being a little more crusty okay but they're like beautiful wow the detail and texture in these horses star stable just keeps improving honestly <gasps> sorry just let me take a minute to like admire them all you know they are so so beautiful okay okay so um my star coins can only handle about one pentavian right now but we'll see so let's Check them out starting from the first one. So this one, uh, I don't know. What, I think it's the Chestnut Rabbit. I don't know how to pronounce that. Rabbit Cano? Rabbit Sano? I don't know. 
I'm pretty sure that one is this though. I love the the stripe pattern on like its stomach. I just think that's really cool. And look how cute the Pentavian is. I believe that their height is about the same. Yeah, their mane is still basically the same. But their tail definitely looks a lot smoother. Like, look at the comparison. Looks more natural. The animations of the- t Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Super duper cute. The little pink on its muzzle. Oh my god, it just looks like a puppy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I'm definitely looking for one of these horses that, like, when I max it, will be my racing horse. But I want it to be appealing as well. Like, the only reason I got this Pentavian that I'm currently on is because it was at a deal, I believe, like, the horse market. I wish those things were still a thing with, like, the older breeds where you get a tax set as well, but that's the only reason I got this Pentavian. Um, anyways, this one's super cute. I'm just not- I don't know. I'm just- it's super cute. I, it's, like, almost a strawberry roan. I don't know. It gives me that kind of vibe, but- it's just not too appealing to me, although I do love it, and the little immaculate details, and like in the fur, the textures, you can see, like, here, there's literally nothing. It's all smooth, but the little, like, pieces of fur on this coat is really beautiful, and the socks, so cute. Okay, this is a really nice horse, though, I'll admit that. I love the face marking as well. Then moving on, we have the Palomino. Um, it's really cute. I I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a fan of these like brighter, more saturated Palomino coats, but I like these, like coffee brown almost. But it's super cute. Um, it reminds me of like Barbie's horse, you know? I don't know what the horse is called, but super cute it's really vibrant and gives a really um calm vibe i love the socks it's like a basic coat but not too basic <laughs> it wiggles it's oh my god <gasps> the tongue <laughs> that is so adorable okay i see you the details on its face is just immaculate okay Moving on, we have the dapple gray one, and this one, it looks like a model. Like, this one's the one that caught my eye first, I believe, and I know in my previous video with the fin horses, I said that the dappled grays are, like, way too common for me, and, you know, I don't want to get too many of those and stuff, because I want a variety in my home stable, but just look at this one. Like, how can you resist? The eyes, like, the blue eyes are so pretty, and it, like, the eyelashes, it's just, it's a gorgeous horse, okay? And the dapples are also so pretty. You can really see the detail in the fur that Star Stable has added, and, okay, I'm sorry, but I just really love this horse. And the back two socks, the little face marking, I cannot. I'm in love like the gradients this has to be like my favorite sample gray horse okay i can't really say anything about this one it's just it's my favorite we'll come back to that um moving on here we have this bay um not too big of a fan of bays especially when there's like a really obvious purple tone in them but this one's really nice the Arabians are like really strong for their small size. The socks and everything are adorable. Okay, then here we have the liver chestnut, I think. I swear if I'm getting these wrong, I'm gonna cry. Okay, this is the liver chestnut, and it reminds me of that liver chestnut Marwari. And like the face marking is just like it reminds me of Rival Stars, like, if you know that video game. Um, it's really cute, though. I love the gradients. And actually, liver chestnuts have my heart. For some reason, though, this one seems to have 
a more of a purple tint than a brown tint and if it was more like vibrantly brown then who knows like i might want it more uh then we have this white horse and okay uh, for some reason like i usually hate plain coats but the arabians can really pull this off like oh my god we have twins here that's so cute. But, like, it's so beautiful. It's really, like, pure white. And it's just, okay, I'm loving it. It looks so, like, clean and poised, you know, like, pretty. In general, though, the Arabian's facial structure is still the same. It's just so much more detailed and less of, like, um... How do I explain it? Like, right now, on the Arabian, the curve on their head just seems a little bit unnatural or, like, weird. It makes me a little uncomfortable. But here, on the other hand, they look so much more naturally curved instead of just, like, bump and, um, questionable, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Okay, so, um, last but not least, Let's check out the black one. So that one's going to be in Fort Pinta. I don't think there's a trailer here. This is the black coat. I love it. Okay. I love how it's matte black. But the thing about this horse... Wait, okay. I was just about to say it doesn't have any like unique markings, socks or anything. But there's something under the forelock. But it's gonna be like really rare to see unless he like yeah there you go unless he tosses his mane so although it is really cute i think it's a bit too plain for me i like black horses with some markings white horses without markings is fine but maybe not it is really really nice and matte though it gives a little blue tone like obviously not as blue as the Yervik wild over here but although it is cute not my absolute favorite now what i'm gonna do i've i never i forgot there was a trailer to goldsbury farm and when i first came here right like to start filming the video and everything i trailered to yara laheim and i spent like 10 minutes figuring out where your, uh, the goldsbury farm was Look at these old Arabians, though. So, okay, that coat right there is one that I really like. I think they were trying to recreate it or something, maybe, with the liver chestnut, because it has that kind of face marking, but that one's just much more... Red. You know. I'm sad to see that, like, in this new batch of Arabians, there are no pintos, like this one. I feel like I was able to make a really clear decision on which one I'm actually going to get, and I'm gonna get the dapple gray because it's just so pretty. Wait, actually thinking about it, I could, I I would possibly get this one, but cause like I could name it after Barbie's horse, whatever the name is, like Daisy or something. No other horses appeal to me as much, and it's not like a really hard decision. Like this one just caught my eye immediately. All right, so now we're gonna get this horse. And we can actually take a look at the new horse names, which I'm so excited about because I don't believe Star Stable has updated this in a long time. And for someone who really struggles with making horse names, this is going to be great. So it is actually cold um, resistant and it still has the same stats as the old Arabians, I believe. Yeah, it has the exact same stats, so I'll still make it my racing horse. 950 star coins. <gasps> oh my god. They did update this thing a lot. Okay, so you can like randomize specific like soul names now. Oh my god. Look at all these name options. Holy. Okay, let's see which ones are like really new. This hurting my finger just like to scroll. Okay, so we have A. A dare. A barrel. What the heck? I, I don't know if there's supposed to be like a blank option or not. Yeah. You can name it. You can name your horse a single thing. 
I love that. Okay, what else is there? Amethyst, ancient, aquamarine, arch, arctic, attack. Oh, is there an E? Because we could do Archie. I don't know. I'm not going to do that, but just like options, you know. Arch. Is there no I? Oh, you can do Archie. What the heck? Okay. Um... Well, now with the new name options, I'm actually going to go crazy because I love it. I might just rename some of my horses, you know? Aurora is actually such a cute name as well. You could just name your horse Big. Like, why would you not do that? Um, Boulder. Bow, Box, Brev, Bread. <laughs> I have a horse named Bread. That's a great idea. Now, Butterfly is like a single name. And... Wait, I'm going to search up what Acacia is. So, like, I don't accidentally name my horse a bug. Okay, so in a sense, a Acacia? How do you pronounce this? Acacia. Oh, it's Acacia. <laughs> I got them all wrong, bro. Okay, I like Acacia. That's cute. Still gonna take a look at some more of these names. I love all these new options. That's just that's definitely gonna make me want more horses. Okay. Um Hair. I have a horse named Hair. That's a great idea. Um Holy Indigo Ivory Jade Jasper June Jute Kangaroo, Lady Legend, Lily, Luna, Maze, ooh, Nacho, that's kind of cute. Wait, is there a Twilight? Wait a second. My little pony, my little pony, friendship is magic. <laughs> Wait a second. Okay, generally there are a lot of cool new names here though. Um, what about on this side? I'm gonna just... Keisha. Wait. Zap, Yule, Y. Oh, okay, so there's a Y. So you could do AC. Airy. <laughs> Wait, that's actually so cool. Okay, that's amazing. I love it. Um, mm -hmm. What are some other ones? They generally added so many cool things. Like, now there's an uncle? What? Period. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm going to name this beautiful horse Acacia. And, okay, let's see. I'm just, for some reason, I'm literally more excited about the horse name possibilities than the actual horse. Okay, let's get it. Oh, yay. Okay, now welcome Acacia to the Snowblast family. I'm so cringy. I should, like, stop. Okay, I can't wait to get on this horse and see for ourselves. Okay, this is going to be great. I'm so excited. It looks like a beautiful horse, and I've already seen some people riding it as I've been, like, running around and stuff. So, okay, let's organize my home stable because I don't know about you, but this is a mess. My sister was actually on my account yesterday for whatever reason, so... Now it's a bit questionable. Bro, I actually might just rename some of my horses. Okay, let's put Acacia there. <gasps> She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is a... Um, 
I'm gonna make an outfit real quick, I'll be right back. And now to add the beautiful horseshoes to my horseshoe collection. Mm hmm it's looking great. Alright, so I made like a really quick improvised outfit and I like there are no words to describe how proud I am of myself for doing this, but look how cute Acacia is. She looks like a unicorn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's actually adorable. I I love her so much. Okay. Now, let's go check out the new Arabian's gates. I can't really compare them to the old Arabian's gates, but I'm really excited. This is definitely going to be my new racehorse. And as you know, like tradition, we're going to go to the Druid Paddock and check this out. I want to see the special animation first. So, if you press... Oh, that's so cute and unique. Okay, but like, look at, look at her. She's so beautiful. And also like Skinny Queen. Um, new favorite horse, maybe? No, but like, actually. She's so pretty. Okay. I, I love, I love, I love. Okay, let's do it one more time because I'm like addicted. The way they walk. Okay, so that is the actual walk. Really cute. I don't have too much commentary on this, so it's literally just you guys getting to see the gate. It's really smooth though, I like it. And then the trot. Hey, yo, you might see this in a future DS routine. Speaking of DS, if you haven't seen the video of me saying it's coming back you should go watch that but otherwise like i love the trot it's so cute and the tail just okay the way it's so smooth and flowy really just makes it so much better i love this and then canter jump i love the way the head moves So cute. The jump is also very nice. I love the tail. Slow gallop. The main animations and everything are amazing. Okay, and now moving on to the full gallop. It's all very nice, like I don't have anything to say. It's so beautiful. I do not regret getting this horse a certain bit. Like, I don't even regret getting this horse a tiny bit. Like. This is all I need in life and more. Okay, so those are all its gates. My favorite is probably the trot, not just because it's like a dressage gate, but it looks so like elegant. It's just adorable. And oh my god, I. It's just adorable. I am actually in love. Okay, so now for some other animations. Let's see the hard splits. Let's see the hard stop. <gasps> the way it like jumps and then does like some dancey thing to adjust is okay. Like that's so unique. <laughs> I can't name one thing I dislike about this horse, bro. Okay, now let's see the um the rear. So normal rear is cute, but if you want to see the walking rear, it's this one. Very adorable. Okay. That's super cute. 
and back up. Very nice, love the head bob. <laughs> she looks so magical with the horns. Okay, well now, um, let's check out the halters. So, Star Stable apparently has these new halters with lead ropes. I don't know about that though. Yeah, that does have a lead rope. Okay. So we have a brown one, this white one, and then a black one. Okay. That's cute. Okay. Um, I, however, do not think that I'm going to be getting one of these halters because I don't do too much roleplay anymore. It doesn't match any of my outfits because I don't usually wear gold, you know? But we'll see. Maybe sometime in the future. It is generally very cute, though. Nice 360. <laughs> okay. Uh, last but not least, what we need to check out is the, um, the main styles for this horse. For that, I'm gonna go to Cape West, because I don't- like, that place is not too populated, so I'll be able to check out the main styles in peace. And as said on the website, you cannot change its mane, but you can- no, sorry, you cannot change its tail, but you can change its mane. Let's see. I mean, I can see why. Like, they spent so much time animating this perfect mane. Of this short mane. That's super cute, actually. I love that on Acacia. And then the, uh, what is it called? Like, the show mane? Braids. Again, very cute. This mane, I'm not sure what the difference is. I think it's like a bit shorter and thicker. And then last but not least, this mane. It also is a bit thicker. And I feel like these extra manes aren't as detailed as this original mane. So I'm going to keep that. But if I was going to change it, likely I'd get the short mane because it's actually really cute. Okay, so those are all the main styles then. Um, in general, this horse is, like, so beautiful. And I have never loved a horse more in so long. Let me tell you, like, I will literally just be locking on to admire Acacia. And speaking of these new horse names, I'm probably going to have a video coming out about changing some of my horse's names. So stay tuned for that. She's so majestic. She's like a unicorn. What the heck? And I hope you love the new Gen 3 Arabians, specifically this coat as much as I do. But yeah, let me know which one you got, um, what you named it. You know, maybe drop some cute name ideas for my next horse out of these new names. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Do a place, do